All right, so I was told uh, today, while I was at the library, that some big guy came in and uh, looked, was looking for me. Uh, some big guy who was a biker, about 48 years old, obese. Apparently he thinks I am um, doing things with kids, recording kids, I guess. So, just make a note of that. I never met him. Um, like the people didn't really say I was in the library or something, but there's only two floors, so it's no big deal. They could have talked with me, but in the library, not so much. But I'm I'm a little nervous about my car because I keep getting these trailer park guys that are uh, trying to harass me and bringing more people into it based on difference. Uh, like beliefs that are passing along on the grapevine in this small town. Rumors, lots and lots of rumors spreading on my behalf. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but you know, and I'd be very quick to leave if I didn't have something tying me back. I can't just leave and then get a warrant placed for my arrest. I don't know what you, what, what is worse, sitting in jail or duking it out with some some hillbillies in the backwoods out here. I'd rather not be living in fear of getting arrested because my car could get towed. But then these hillbillies could be um, beating on my car as I speak. I don't know. It's a really strange circumstance where you got lawless, lawlessness, you know. That's the thing, you know, these people are taking matters into their own hands because clearly the cops are letting them down. Okay, when cops are, are, are violating our Fourth Amendment's rights in Boise County, and it sounds like a lot of people are in support of it, because maybe they would rather take the matters into their own hands. <clears throat> that could be. But it's definitely a different culture around here. I'm learning about the hard way and I'd rather uh, learn about other cultures than I'd spend so much time in this one and also it strikes me as interesting how people are so scared of of strangers and when they you know have these fears of like your kids or whatever strangers and your kids draw a lot of paranoia but it's amazing because I believe statistics show that family members or close family members friends neighbors are more likely to abuse these kids you know your pastors priests are more likely to abuse the kids. but it couldn't be somebody who you're close to that would do that right wow that would be that would um you know you feel feel betrayed you know it's it's a worse feeling to feel betrayed than than to suspect the the strangers so it's better to focus on the strangers i think and worry about betrayals. You know, I was I was thinking that I probably can't get a fair trial if this does go to a criminal trial in this town because of all the bias that and and rumors that have been passing along around about me. People won't be thinking about the uh, the criminal uh, case so much as as all the other rumors spreading. All right, I just had this uh, guy on my past on the uh, dirt road. He looked to be in his, uh, say, late 20s, narrow jaw, possibly dark hair. He gave me a good stare so I could really see him, but it's kind of dark. I believe he's the guy as uh, I got to my car. And, um, he was walking, I bicycled. Um, he was he, uh, kind of passed by my car from a distance. Uh, the words, I, I, mean, I heard some shouting, and then I heard uh, the words, move on. So I'm just making note of that at this time. It happened about five minutes ago. This is a different guy I, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with, so it looks like he's trying to make himself familiar with me. My chain keeps falling off when I pedal too hard. So what I want to do is tighten this screw. you got to turn the bicycle upside down so you can see it. But I tighten this screw and that pushes this over, pushes it over, so it's righty tighty. I did that a little bit 
and hopefully that'll keep it, prevent it from um, falling off so much.